Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Designs. This is a DIY for resale video where I show you what I made during the week, what it looked like before, what I paid for it, and what I'm going to sell it for. So if you're like into the quick before and afters, this is a video for you. And if I have a more detailed video on how exactly I made it, I will let y'all know. And I will put the links to that video in the description below. So that way you can go watch the step by step of it. So I'm on the floor surrounded by, by my creations because every time I do these videos, y'all always worried I'm gonna knock stuff over. So I'm hoping being on the floor brings down the clumsiness, but I can't make any promises. Keeping it casual today, I don't even have any shoes on. <laughs> We're just gonna chill out. Um, I had so much fun this week. Y'all, I'm competitive. I like a good challenge, even if I'm just challenging myself. So this was my challenge this week. Y'all know 2021, I talk about it in every video. I'm trying to get rid of my whores. I'm trying to get rid of my stuff. I'm being picky about what I bring in. I just don't want to be surrounded by these unfinished projects anymore. So this was my personal challenge just within myself that everything I touched I was going to just make a decision and do something with it because you know, you can go back and forth forever. Oh, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I paint it this color? Should I paint that color? I'm like, you know what? It doesn't matter. I just need to make a decision and move on because there's more stuff to get. There's more projects to get done. If it doesn't work out, then I know not to do that again. So that's what I did. What happened is though, I started a ton of projects one day and then it took me the rest of the week to finish them, but that's okay when, when that creativity and that mood strikes you, you just need to work. I'm good with getting stuff done. It's just like getting it started is the hard part. So it was fun and I wanna do some more of this cause I got a lot of stuff done and I got a lot of like just random things. Cause you know, I think the most efficient use of your time is to make one thing and then make it over and over again because then you can get faster at it. But this was kind of like just making lots of random stuff and it took longer, but it was funner. All right, anyway, enough of me rambling on. If I have a before uh, picture of what it looked like, I'm gonna post that. Not everything I do because you know, when you're just working, you just forget to take befores. You're just excited to get it done. So anyway, if I have a before, I'll post it. If not, then just use your imagination. <laughs> So these little bottles I had sitting on my shelf when I was doing the baking soda um, chalk paint mixture, I had some left over. So I just grabbed, I think these are like old soda bottles, but not like cute ones. So I had some leftover paint. So I just went ahead and painted these and they've just been sitting on my shelf. So I finally put a crockery stamp on them. And then I put the Waverly Antiquing Wax mixture on it, watered down. And it just makes it look kind of old. So cute, and I am selling these for $7 each, and these were free. Somebody gave me this. So, glad to move those along. They can't sell, they're not finished right. Okay, y'all, this is my favorite project of the week. It's kind of what I call like a Franken project, where you take just a bunch of different things and put them together to make something new. So I had these wood four by fours, then I had like, I don't even know what these things are. They were just some random things that somebody had given to me, the middle pieces. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make a set of candlesticks. So I put the little, we'll call them legs. I, I feel like they were little furniture legs. I put that on top of the wood. I painted it black. Then I painted it white. And I just felt like it was missing something, like it needed a top piece. So then I went in my stash and I found these old metal little baking tins and I had three of them. And so I put them on top and I'm just kind of obsessed with the way these turned out. I love them so much. So these were just like three random pieces that I put together. And I really wasn't sure when I painted them black, I felt like, ugh, that was a bad decision. Um, I knew I wanted to paint them black and then paint them white and then have like the black come through and the natural wood come through. But when I did it, I didn't like it. But once I distressed it, I really liked it. I mean, it kind of came out exactly like I thought it would. But when I was doing it, I thought I had made the wrong decision. So 
you got some of the natural wood coming through you got some black coming through and then you have the white and then i think just the black kind of ties into the tin pan up here i just love these you can use them for candlesticks you can use them for risers or whatever let's see i only priced one of them because i'm selling the set all together so it's going to be 38 dollars for the set that comes out to 12 dollars a piece i feel like that's an amazing deal i want to talk about my prices for a second so y'all might think my prices are a little bit low but i do not sell at a booth i just sell at my out my house so i don't have any overhead if i had a booth that i had to spend time bringing stuff to and staging and all that i would definitely um and then i also would have overhead i would definitely ask more for some of these pieces but since i don't have overhead i try to keep my prices you know very reasonable give my customers a good deal so that's why if you have an antique booth or whatever you you may want to add um charge a little bit more for these okay i've been having these blocks forever i paid 25 cents for them at a garage sale and i'm like these are getting out of my shop i don't know what i'm gonna do with them but i ended up painting them white and distressing them slightly and then i had a little bit of antique beadboard left over just enough to cover all three of these so i think this is like a cute little farmhouse riser just something to add a little character i think this will look good on a mantle and i got rid of these three blocks and the rest of my antique beadboard i was like score <laughs> two things gone and i'm charging 11 dollars each for these i really like how they came out so cute so i got three of those and also as things get finished i price them that way whether somebody stops by the shop whether i'm doing a live sale or if i end up doing um like a craft show i'm not spending all kind of time pricing like i price as i go because if you have ever left stuff to price till the end, you know it is very time consuming. So just do it as you finish projects, trust me. It's gonna, it's gonna be a lot easier on you. Okay, this was something that was given to me and it's been sitting in the shop since before Ren was born. So like maybe three years, y'all. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, 2021, this stuff is getting out of here. I painted it DIY apothecary. I just think it's like, perfect color year round but especially for spring and it has handles i think this would be cute like if you had like a little gardening area you could put some faux plants and then you could put or some real plants and put your little gardening tools some little gardening gloves i think that'd be so cute i think it would look good also possibly in a um closet like if you like your closet to look cute and organize all your stuff it has these great handles it would look good in the kids room the sh the pieces the side pieces are pretty high so you could put you know blocks or books or anything like that and they can pick it up and move it around and i just feel like this um could go in so many areas and i did think about writing like fresh flowers or something on here but then i felt like i would limit my audience i don't feel like everything needs a stamp or needs a picture or something written on it like what maybe it looks plain now but once somebody decorates it and puts stuff in it it's gonna be good so i just decided to leave it plain i love how this came out tempted to keep it but i'm not everything gotta go gotta go y'all i love this okay this is for my last shopping video when me and ren went to lafayette so y'all remember it and i said that i just wanted to put some white wax on it and see how it came out I love it it's so cute absolutely love how this came out so if you have a natural wood piece and it's just kind of looking old throw some white wax on it and it just oh, just makes it beautiful I'm asking $15 for this I feel like that's a good price it's a really big candlestick or riser or whatever you want to use it as and these little birds are thrifted from quite a few videos ago but i did the baking soda chalk paint mixture in the color mineral and then white wax them and they are so perfect to put a little succulent in or 
a candle or whatever you want to do with it. They're adorable. I have two of them. And these are $6 each. Here's some little tarnish silver. I am not letting myself buy tarnished silver until all my tarnished silver is sold. I'm painting it all. It just does not sell if it's not painted. So this one's apothecary with white wax. I just lightly white wax it. I didn't heavily do it. And I also lightly distressed it. And I just love the little scalloped edges. How cute would this be? Just on somebody's dresser to put their rings or whatever on some little perfume bottles. It's just really cute. I love the shape of it. And then this one, y'all, tarnished silver looks so good, painted white. Look how good that looks. I love, love, love this. I mean, this would even look cute hanging on the wall. Like if you had like a little round, like gallery wall with maybe some baskets and some other stuff, like this would look great thrown in there. So cute. I love this. And I just, all I did was um, distress the top, all the detail on the top, and I left the rest of it white. So pretty. Oh, this one's $8. Oh, I forgot to tell you prices. This one's $10. And I didn't tell y'all how much I was charging for this. This is $25. $25 for this piece. Um... Like, honestly, most of this stuff I probably got for free or paid very little for. <laughs> if I remember what I paid for it, I'll tell y'all. But a lot of this stuff I've been having for a while, and it was probably stuff that was given to me. This I did pay. I bought two things at the Guardian Born, and it was $5. So let's say $2.50 for this one, for that piece. Okay. I have one carrot left. Because I wanted to make one for, to style from one of my videos when I made the bunny box that I'm going to show y'all next. This one I tea dyed and then I put a crockery stamp on it. So it's like very primitive looking. Love it. So I sell these for $15. They're about 20 inches high plus the greenery. So probably about two feet. And then these I made on the video on a video. I'll put a link in the description. But it's almost Easter time, so I need to get rid of all this stuff. I'm selling these for $13. Look at the cute little doily. It's not attached, so you can add greenery to it. So cute if you have like a little shabby chic Easter spring look. And then these are all tea dyed. They're a set of three of little tiny Easter eggs, and I'm selling them for $10 for the set. I know Easter is like two weeks away, I think, but I feel like those will work for spring, summer. Like, even if they bought it to put out for Easter, they could definitely leave it out. And then I messed up on my video that I made the bunny box in. Um, I was making one for my customer, and I ended up making this part too short. It needed to be higher. Um, so now I have an extra bunny box. I forgot to price this one. I'm probably going to put 35 on this one since it doesn't have a spindle. I'm going to put it on the side so I remember to price it. And it's just using all free wood that I got. It's using fence boards. And it's so super cute. You just put some little Easter thingies in there. And it's adorable. So cute. Those sold really well last year. This year I didn't, like I made one for my customer. And then that one since I messed it up. Um, and that's it. That's all I made. But they're super good sellers. I just don't have time. I don't have time. Okay, I thought I sold all my tissue boxes. And then when I was going through my stuff last week, I found some more of them. These, and I didn't even check. So I don't know if they still sell them. But I used to purchase these from Michaels. But I haven't bought them in a few years. It's just a few years ago when I started selling them. They were such good sellers. I had ordered a ton. And Michaels used to offer like 40% off online. So at 40% off, I paid like $3.50 for these boxes. They come natural wood. I love it because they have a wood bottom as well. So I think it's perfect if you have kids because they can move them around and the tissue box isn't going to fall through. So I paint them white, I distress them, and then I write bless you on them. They used to be such a good seller, but um, like... Michaels and Hobby Lobby and all the home decor stores have caught on and started making their own 
versions of these so they don't sell as good anymore but i charge twenty dollars for these and i only have one two three four five left and that's it i'm not ordering anymore i'm not making anymore so i finished up five of those this week and then oh y'all it just feels so good to like clear stuff out okay this was a custom order this is definitely like a little bit different than my style but it was something that somebody asked me to make and I felt like I could handle it. It is on a piece of Cypress. It's for a man. So I kind of went for like man cave, Cajun style. He wanted it to say the catfish room. And then these are the retro stamps from IOD. I thought that would kind of give it like that vintage like boat dock feel. So I did blue and then distressed it. And then, well actually I did black, a black stamp. Then I painted in the blue and then I went back over and then I distressed it. I distressed the blue because I wanted the blue stress. Then I went back over it with white on the stamp. That way it looked like it was outlined. And then he wanted the and Rome in like a cur cur cursive type. <laughs> so even though this isn't my style, I really like how it came out and it was fun. It was sometimes it's just fun to do something different. And I think I charged him $35. I gotta go, gotta go drop it off. Sorry. All right, this is another custom order. And I have a few of these started that I didn't get to finish yet. So they might be in my next um, DIY for resale video. But she wanted a spindle ladder. So people usually put these in their kitchen to put like little tea towels and stuff. So open shelves are super popular right now. So this looks so cute up on like your top open shelf. And then you can put like different tea towels for the different holidays. So cute. So cute. So she wanted it brown, but she wanted a whitewash. So I just kept everything natural brown. And then I didn't do a whitewash. I did white wax. And I actually um, love, 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 love the way it came out. So I think I'm going to be doing more of this. I charged $20 for this piece right here. I'm running out of room around me. Okay, I am done with lavender baskets. I have used up all of my amazing lavender. I hope that Walmart has it again next year, but I think it's done for this year. They're not putting any more out. So my neighbor actually wanted this one. So this one's already sold for $40. And then I used the rest of my spray foam because you get a can and then you have to use it all. Like it's not like, um, once you start using it, you have to finish it. So I did two more baskets, two more small baskets. I had this little bit of lavender left in this cute little basket. So this one's 28. You can see it's a good bit smaller than the $40 one. So 28 for this one. And then this one has the more, um, like shorter lavender, I guess, but still really adorable. I put the wrong tags on them. This one's 32, this one's 28. <laughs> I just realized that. So I'm gonna put that on the side so I can switch it out. So this one's gonna be 32 and this one's gonna be 28. I'll like write out a few tags and then put them on. I just realized I put it on the wrong one. Um. Oh, so my neighbor that bought the lavender she also bought this. Oh my God, the before this was so ugly. I've been having this for years. I'm like, this year's getting redone. So I ended up painting the whole thing white and then distressing it because I liked the, the pink they had on the basket part. And then I had to do something with this rabbit. So I ended up going with the shabby chic look and putting some book paper on it and then putting a little twine around its neck so we're having a spring show in town and she bakes and she's going to fill it up with all um a bunch of easter cookies like egg cookies and it's gonna be so cute and i only charged her ten dollars for this she's my neighbor um but if i was to put a price on it i probably would have charged 20. but when you have good customers you know and your neighbors it's cool give them a good deal sometimes she's a good customer Oh, and then I have it filled with these eggs that hopefully I can sell. Look how cute this one is with the rabbit stamp on it. And I have the little, a few of these little sets. I just went ahead and made a bunch. I didn't even realize I had so many. So 
I need to sell those. This was just, this was probably like an insert for a cabinet. It was something that was given to me. And once again, something that has been sitting for years. So I ended up doing like a black wash on this. I love this. I have a lot of this in my master bedroom and bathroom. You just water down some black paint and just put it on. And it, I love like the wood coming through, but then the black. Love, love, love this. If I didn't already have something for my towels in my bathroom, I would be keeping this. This is so my style. So I just put one of these hooks on it that I painted white, the same color as the stamp that's on here. And it says Le Bain which is French for the bath. So I just think things are cuter when you write it in French. We're um, in a Cajun community around here, so French is our native language. So I like to throw some French in there every now and then. Y'all, y'all, this piece. I think I paid 25 cents for this picture. That is the only thing I paid for. I love layering frames. So this little tiny piece that I might have been able to get like $5 for maybe, I turned into this big piece of art by just layering frames. And now it's like this beautiful piece. Look how cute the little print is with the chickens and the three babies. Adorable. And I'm asking $23 for this. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. I should probably keep it, but I'm not. No jewelry. I can't keep it. Gotta go. If it doesn't sell, then I can keep it. All right, what else we got here? I also have a bunch of breadboards. I'll show y'all a few of them. Um, and I have a video on how to make these. This one isn't priced. Okay, I need to put that on the side. I thought I priced all those. But I make all my breadboards out of Cypress. So this is Pecky Cypress when it has like these, um, it's actually a fungus that grows on the tree and creates like all these little grooves. So this is pecky cypress. And then the rest of them I use like really old cypress. Pretty. Some of them's painted, some of them's not. I'll add like old boards across to make it look more amazing. Like this one's 14 inches high and it's $21. Oh, I wanted to show y'all this too. Hold on. Ooh, my stuff out of there. So I know y'all always come across um like magazine racks that are like missing something or broken or whatever. I pick them up and use them to put my breadboards and stuff in. So like I don't sell this. I think it was missing. I can't remember what was wrong with this one. I don't know. Something was wrong with it. I can't remember now. But anyway, it's perfect like to organize breadboards or even picture frames and stuff like that. So if you come across these for cheap, pick them up just to help organize and display your items. And then I have another one over there that I can't reach. Okay, but this is a magazine rack that is for sale. I love when I find, find these. This was on a haul video. What did I pay for this? Y'all remember? I want to say like three dollars or something insane like super cheap so i sprayed it white distressed it this has like three coats of rust-oleum clear coat on it that's the sealer that i like so it's nice and sealed up i'm selling it for forty dollars i think it's so cute like in a kid's room to put all their books and stuff or you can use it as a magazine book rack and use one of them to put like floral in that way it's use useful and cute at the same time love this i wish i had um room in the baby's room to put that all her books in that'd be so cute is that everything so cute love these breadboards breadboards are a good seller y'all go watch my video on how to make breadboards and i personally use cypress but you can use whatever kind of wood you have this one has a number 10 on it does it kind of look like a finger it had like a crack right here so i just went with it you gotta listen to the wood and what it wants to be. If it already has a crack. Oh, and um, if you have, if you ever find like old metal pieces, like rusty metal pieces, keep them. That's like the perfect thing to add to these breadboards just to add character. So it had like a little crack right here, which I've already like glued together and all. 
but it just looks so cute with a piece of metal on it and then if the bottom looks like this i keep it you want to maintain as much of the character as possible look this one had a hole in it this was probably like an electrical outlet or something like that so cute love like all the holes these are gorgeous all right i gotta go i'm getting hot all right i think that's everything i hope y'all found this video informative and helpful and inspirational so go ahead and get your hoard under control i know that i am so ready to do it i'm hoping to have one of these videos out every single week because that means that i got a lot of stuff done so y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and hit the no notification bell that way you don't miss out on any of my videos i hope y'all have a wonderful day and i will see y'all in the next video